We now return to Let's Play Cypher. Okay. Let's try and deal with this sentry gun. Look. Sentry gun. Installed over one of the narrow passage walls, sentry gun scans the whole area. Shoot sentry gun with sea gun. You shoot your sea gun directly at the sentry gun, but the force shield it's using deflects your sea beam into the water. The sentry gun fires back, and you manage to avoid the shots by inches. Okay. Look, water. The water flows from the north to the south tunnel, through the narrow passage, and for a moment it appears to swallow half the sentry gun. Use taser on... this might actually be a bad idea since I'm standing in it. Water. Cannot use it that way. Shoot water with taser. Something is sticking to your back. Metal. A handrail. You open your eyes and you are sitting on the edge of a fall, so massive you can't even see the bottom of the sewers. See the taser? You don't have it anymore. The water keeps pushing you towards the fall. If it wasn't for the handrail, you may never have recovered from this one. The abandoned constructions were once a vertical tube station, blah blah blah. The electricity knocked you down. Okay. Let's go north. You need to stand away from the handrail first or you will fall. Stand up. We're now standing on your feet. Go north. Go north. You managed to fry the sentry gun's logic circuits with the electric discharge from the taser. It now rests deactivated in the octagonal room beyond repair. Look, sentry gun. Okay. So we can go north now. Octagonal room. The large octagonal room has at least a dozen ducts lined up horizontally along the wall, several feet above your head. They form a repulsive cascade of toxic waters that flow down into the pudding-like floor of the old sewer with the strength of an explosion. To the south you see a tunnel leading back to the flooded sewers. Above you, past the toxic water cascade, you see stairs leading back to the surface through another hatch. Could be a ladder too, depending on how you look at it. The neutralized sentry gun at the wall spits multicolored sparks, while a gray light smoke pops from a small panel on one of its sides. Okay, now let's try looking at the sentry gun. The Sanyo Corporation sentry gun has been properly installed over one of the narrow passage walls to defend this position until you fried its circuits with the taser gun. Okay, let's look at the panel. Look. Sentry gun panel. You examine the metal panel a bit more. It seems to provide access to the sentry gun circuits to run maintenance routines, okay? Climb up stairs. Climb stairs up. Why is it so fucking hard to go up and down in this game? You know what, fine. Open sentry gun panel. The panel on the sentry gun is open. You see a mini data port inside between all the smoke that is popping out of the fried circuits. You open the panel, but halfway through it got stuck open. Looks like the taser overheated the whole metal structure as well. Look. Mini. Data. Port. The taser appears to have affected only the AI chip routines and the logic circuits. The Ethernet module seems to be working, so the mini data port is fully functional. Inventory. Look. Tyco. QRS. The portable Tyco QRS belt can be plugged into any USB port to wire yourself to a private network. Okay, has something written on it. Read Tyco QRS. Instructions connect to a mini data port. A. Hey. Two, connect to yourself. Three, turn on and enjoy your network. Porn, porn, porn. Okay, so. Connect Tyco QRS to Mini Data Port. Panel is open. You connected the Tyco QRS to the Sentry Gun Mini Data Port. Tyco QRS is now wired. Okay, connect Tyco 
QRS to me. The panel on the sentry gun is now open. You are connected to the network through the QRS on your belt. Lights begin to flicker on your prosthetic arm. You plug yourself to the Tyco QRS on your belt. Turn Tyco QRS on. Having been underwater for so long, the fans on the Tyco QRS belt have it rough to start, and after a few seconds spitting water instead of hot air, they begin to work again. The Tyco QRS is turned on. Um, press red button. You should turn it on instead. I totally did. Turn red button on. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. The Tyco QRS Belt Explorer. The dark sewer flashes in a blink of an eye and unfolds itself in millions of little pixels that vanish one after the other, like if reality itself was fading out into fragments of metadata. You are standing in front of a brick wall. It is as big as your eyes can fathom. Transparent blocks of void fill with infinite numbers of antivirus breakers ready to be set free. The wall becomes fire. Fire that doesn't burn, but fire that kills. A firewall impossible to hack through, made by the best of the best in the business. Neo Sushi Intranet's firewall. Okay, dog, we're patched up together. If you need something, just ask. I'm listening, Sarah says. A white sphere comes flying right at you and stops inches away from your face. Please identify immediately. Name and access code, yells a deep metallic voice from within the sphere. Sarah, what's the access code? Sarah, give me an access code. All right, give me a second. Security out here is tight, whispers Sarah. Okay, I've got a video feed now. There we go. Raymond Valdez, F2184234. The firewall vanishes in a microsecond like if it never existed. Columns of information move vertically through the perpetual horizon of code, forming impossible angles while millions of Neo Sushi Tower employees fly through the virtual space. Mindless drones without faces, carrying data like soldiers carry their rifles. Luckily for you, the Tyco belt has an automatic cloaking installed that fires up. Far beyond, into the cloud of information, there is a massive structure, the kernel a gigantic artificial intelligence system that erects itself hundreds of feet above into space. The white sphere stays at a safe distance from you. Enormous data banks slowly float in front of you like closed folders, waiting to be accessed. Welcome back, Mr. Valdez, says the sphere, and spins away from you. Okay, so now that I'm in the network, I have to use the QRS commands, which is prism to start out with, right? The white sphere flies back to you. That function is disabled, Mr. Valdez. In here, what you see is what you get, yells the white sphere. <sighs> okay, let's just grab one. Grab left. Dog, I'm in position. Boy, your reception is bad down there. We have a couple minutes before one of their systems spots us. Hurry with those doors, whispers Sarah. Sarah... How do I unlock the doors? Man, I'm busy. You're gonna get me killed. Find the doors IP numbers on the text dump I gave you and add them in the right file, whispers Sarah. I am pretty sure she did not give me such a thing. Look for the door codes in the text dump I gave you before. Smith only got one, so you'll have to do a little magic. You can't see your own hands, much less know what you're carrying at the moment, right? Because I'm inside the system. The text dump that she is referring to is actually a PDF file that you otherwise would not know you had. And that freaking PDF file is a nightmare to decipher. So now I have to find this stupid file that it actually goes into, but since I can't use Prism and apparently I can't grab anything, I don't know what the fuck to do with this. Maybe we should just advance to the kernel. So let's advance. Are you fucking kidding me? Swipe left. 
left. You move your virtual hand through the space and the data banks begin flying to the left. Once you get the doors open and the tower temperature changed to the one in the sewers, exit the interface. Grab anything that's on my left. Let's grab anything that's on my right. Be careful. Corporate artificial intelligence is dangerous. If you need anything, just ask. Listen to the micro SD if you have doubts. Well, let's just swipe right. The data banks fly through the information flow to the right, and the one floating in front of you looks rather bigger than the other ones. Grab right. Grab left. Advance. Unfold. I'm trying to grab the fucking data bank. Grab. Are you fucking... You move your hand through the space and grab a data bank floating in front of you. Unlock. Whoops. Unfold, I mean. The data bank unfolds in your hand like a piece of paper, showing you source code inside. Enhance. The data bank zooms in all around you like a sheet of metallic paper that stretches in the virtual space. The source code in here is used to run maintenance routines on the doors. Ah. So, can I unlock that with the codes, then? The one on, first one on the PDF is 192... 192... 168... 28... 81... And it says equals 8. Let's see if that does something. How about just 192... 168... 28... 81... All right, I'm dyslexic. It is not 81, it is 18. You move your hand in the air and a virtual keyboard appears in front of you. After typing the code, a big red sign says, Lobby doors unlocked and vanishes away. Core's digital eye on the horizon seems to be busy with other tasks, but for a brief moment seemed to notice you. You unlock the lobby doors. Hey, what are you doing down there? Hurry up, man. Let's type in the other one. And hope I got it right. After moving your hand in the air and a virtual keyboard shows up right in front of you, you type the code and a big red sign says lab doors unlocked and fades away. You unlock the lab doors. Man, you're slow. Hurry up, will you? They can spot us if we keep being this slow. I'm working on it, Sarah. Moving your hand through the space shows a virtual keyboard. Entrance doors unlocked. You unlock the entrance doors. Smith was right about you after all. Now set the tower temperature to match the one in the sewers or I won't be able to get you out. Okay. Tower temp. I'm not in the right file, am I? God damn it. Get out of here. Ah! Can I just grab one? Perfect. Not perfect. Fuck! That was so much harder than it had to be. The core focus is its eye only on you when the temperature begins to drop. Millions of virtual representations of Neo Sushi's employees turn their heads at where the core's enormous eye is looking, but they fail to see you. Time to get out of here. Um... Core is changing colors and looks right at where you are. A big sign pops up in front of you. Shutting down. Installing upgrades 1 through 454. Please hold on. You panic. Um, 
Kor's gigantic digital eye blinks once, and millions of little spheres burst dancing into space. I'm coming to get you, dog. Hang on, yells Sarah. A big sign pops up in front of you, shutting down. I'm pretty sure this is how you get out of here, right? Is this the equivalent of weight? The small white spheres begin to turn in your direction at high speed. Uh-oh. Installing upgrades 255 of 454. Please hold on. You begin to cry. The white spheres are almost upon you. A new sign pops up. Installing upgrades 453 of 454. You try to hide, but it's useless. The large octagonal room has leased a dozen da 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 You disconnected just in time. Fantastic. Fuck. Uh... Look, room. Okay. Look. Stairs? The stairs lead up into the Neo Sushi Tower through an iron hatch. Nobody has used these in a long time, probably since the corporation installed the sentry gun. Climb up stairs. Climb stairs. Okay, we're gonna end this one here and try to figure out how to go up a flight of fucking stairs and or ladder next time.